Understanding the calculator. The calculator uses different options selected to present the customer with a price. The first option will be quantity. This also acts as the base cost for the product. There are two types of options, standard and additional. Standard options can either be a percentage of the base price entered for quantity or a flat whole number. Additional options are calculated based on cost per piece. The number inputted should be cost per thousand and the software divides and multiplies based on the quantity selected to serve the price. For standard or additional options, a flat setup fee may also be applied. Now let's look at this on the store. We see the price changes as we change quantity. We also see the price changes as we add or edit options. Something else to note is the estimated completion date changes when we change options. All products must have cutoff time, extended cutoff time, production time, and turnaround time inputted. Note that time is set by military time and turnaround is calculated in hours. Additional turnaround can also be added to options. As we see here, when we add rounded corners to this job, the date changes.